Count Basie. All right, so this episode is about the Tron roller coaster, and it has no, an official not. opening Jeez. date. No, it's... Yeah, maybe. The nope. train is open. <sighs> Finally. How many years ago is the train closed? Almost five. Exactly. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Park Stop Podcast, episode 49. My name is Alicia Stella. With me as always is my co-host, Ian. Hey, kids. Yeah. And uh, we're back because it's been a little bit of a while since we've done a regular episode. I've been drunk. I mean, wait, (laughs) no. (laughs) So we need to catch up on a little bit of news. Uh, Since we last talked, they have announced we're we're doing universal news. There there you go. The intro is done. We're doing doing universal news. Uh, Since we last talked, uh, they have announced the villain con attraction. And we haven't talked about that. The official information about that. Not that there's that much. But also when we're recording this today, Kid Zone is officially closed. We saw it with our own eyes just to verify. We just there's literally walls around it. It's real. (laughs) The walkway to E.T. is very narrow. (laughs) <laughs> there was like two giant trash cans blocking the entire walkway that's how stops, narrow it is if somebody stops like more than two people are stopped you're just gonna have to be like excuse me if they move those trash cans it might actually we're not doomed. be so bad we're doomed um, we're also going to talk about the recent announcements for uh, a kid-friendly theme park in texas and a year-round halloween horror night style haunt in vegas yay yeah <laughs> <sighs> Yay. Are you, are you sleepy? I'm a little tired. We were walking. I'm a little tired. Yeah, we, we shouldn't do a park day on the same day as podcast day. Yeah, but we had to prove that it was actually closed. Yeah, I need proof. I need proof of death. It was like proof of life. I need it, proof of death. It might it might open <laughs> soon and they might just be teasing us. But at least for today, we can confirm that it was closed. Someone said they're already demolishing it, which oh, you know I'm what? Sure. If you go by the permits, that could be possible. I'm um, sure. So, but we're gonna, walls, but anyway. We're going to start with the official announcement of Illumination's Villain Con Minion Blast. Stand on, stand your dot. What? There's there's room enough for at least two more words in that title. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 not long enough. It's a little bit of a letdown after Hagrid's. Um, but I mean, Velocicoaster. F- so maybe they're just trying to climb back up with the number of words now. Jurassic World Velocicoaster. It's still three. This one yeah, is still. four. Like the villain con is one word. They're on their way back up. This is opening this this year, summer 2023. I mean, it's year longer than it was probably originally planned to open. But now we're going to get the Minion Cafe. Oh, they officially announced the Minion Cafe, too. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, that thing that I accidentally willed into existence. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I miss monsters, but we're going to have our own. I'm going to have my own monsters soon. So, um. We walked by that earlier, the Minion Cafe, uh, we the did. formerly of the Monsters Cafe variety, uh, and there's steel going up around it, like making it bigger. Yeah, the, like they had the I beam coming out over there on top of the, the did steel. You, uh-huh. Did you see the supposed leaked concept art that floated around on Twitter? I did not see it yet. Oh well, I, it might be gone by now. I I'm sure. I didn't save it, but it looked a lot like minion park in universal japan oh, maybe where it has like a bunch that. of different little facades for different things well, maybe i didn't so, see that and i just uh, forgot like i think one was like an ice cream shop or something i wonder if our minion cafe might come with a little uh snack stand attached to the back where donkey was they're obviously gonna sell bananas right i banana <laughs> banana everything they're gonna have bananas banana? uh, banana. I, I i i hope so I, I I think this is kind of neat. What do they call it? Illumination Avenue or something? Something like that. Yeah, I believe. So it's going to be, you know, the the current Minions ride, the new Minions ride. I'm using air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> the Minion Cafe. But if they do like a little city block across from Music Plaza stage, it might look like it's actually something. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Like, uh, that's, that's what we were discussing, if it was going to be like the cityscape coming off of the sta- the building and all. So Right. So I don't know if someone faked yeah. the concept art. It could be fake. It was such low quality. It had like six pixels. <laughs> it looked like the exact facades <laughs> from Universal Japan, but like oh, over man. top of the Monsters Cafe. Maybe it's real. I don't know. The steel that we saw today ma- like, makes me think that it is real. I mean, it was kind of far away from the building. So mm-hmm. it's definitely taken up that little plaza that was the entryway. Yeah, it's no longer dented. <laughs> nope. No longer a little, little notch entry at mm-hmm. Monsters. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So they they released a piece of official concept art for the Illuminations Villain Con Minion Blast. Mm-hmm. And I keep saying that this thing is like based on the Minion spin-off franchise and it takes place like it's a prequel. It takes place in like the 70s or something. Yeah. But I do notice that there are characters on this con- like this this poster, this official poster. It's not concept art, it's just a poster. It's the logo. It's a it's a it's a it's a prelude. It's a, a teaser. Pre- it's a prelude. Well, it's supposed to be like sounds fancy. The vicious six, like yeah, mm-hmm. uh, uh, they they mention that in the official description. But this is not the vicious six from the rise of Gru. These are different characters. These are characters from the whole series, including Despicable Me one and three. Interesting. Which take place in modern day. So is it the vicious six plus, or is it time travel? Maybe. Because also, I noticed Scarlet Overkill is in there. And Scarlet Overkill is from Minions 1, which takes place in the 70s. Wait, but we can't, we can't reach Vector 88 is there, miles an hour. Which is from Despicable Me 1, which is from like the 2000s. And Balthazar, I had to look it up, the Trey Parker character from <laughs> Despicable Me 3. <laughs> Balthazar Brat is also in the art. But, so, but like, who cares? Vector's there. I don't care. It doesn't have to make sense. Everyone loves Vector. Time travel. We can't go 88 miles an hour standing. That's just weird. (laughs) (laughs) I just pictured the, like, cranking up the moving walkway so fast. (laughs) It's got, like, uh, like snowboard clamps you got to clamp into. Oh, just, like, a swing back like a Wile E. Coyote uh, on ski, (laughs) rocket skis moment. (laughs) It's fine. We're all going to be fine. Yeah, so anyway, they announced it. They confirmed it's going to utilize a moving walkway, uh, causing everyone on the internet to apologize to me for thinking I was (laughs) making it up. (laughs) Now, if you ever wanted to know what it felt like to be luggage, you're going to find out. Right. It's very slow moving. We were talking before the recording. Mm -hmm. I think even though it's such a small footprint in just a quarter, like a quarter of this building, (laughs) because they're saving, (laughs) they're saving one of the theaters for Halloween Horror Nights Haunted Houses. Yeah, it's Uh, basically a ride in a theater. theater, Right. right? It's the Shrek theaters. There was two. And one of them is going to be this ride, air quotes. uh, And the pre-show is like part of the cube pre-show area. And the other pre-show is a gift shop. And the old gift shop is now back of house so what does that leave a qu- a quarter corner of this building for the yeah. actual ride mm-hmm. i still think it's gonna be like a four minute ride i'm thinking three i mean are you thinking three at the most like are you thinking two and a half you said two and a yeah, half yeah i originally. was thinking two and a half okay so i'll say this two and a half three at the most all right so i'll say three and a half four okay come on it's a minute so more than small. whatever you said it, you <laughs> said, it's so small it's such a little. I could walk it that fast. I no, but it's, walk it it's it moves time. slower than I people know. walk. I know, but I'm saying it's, like these were designed for aquariums. Luggage. You can take in all of the no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these were designed for luggage, and they move slow so they don't hurt your luggage. <laughs> but they were designed. This this particular one was designed for aquariums and stuff, so you could go slowly. You could look at all the fishies. It's not like the moving walkways at the airport or city walk oh i know i know i know it's not gonna be the city walk ones right so if it was a city walk ones i'd be i'd be going even lower those <sighs> actually move pretty quick for moving walkways all right anyway glide mm. path limited that's the company do i do i have to read the official description sure why not you might as well own it since you've been calling it yeah We've i mean dis- i do it does make me feel happy to read this official description i mean you've like, been yep. you've been you've been calling glide path and the stand grew forever i mean we even we even came up with our our entire we had somebody come up with the grew part but i started to stand through so then you know go for it stand grew yeah you you deserve it guests who are up for the challenge will grab an interactive blaster and step onto a motion-based pathway to put their skills to the test They'll wind and glide. Uh, it says glide. They'll wind and glide through various scenes where they earn points by blasting a variety of items and causing as much mayhem and destruction as possible. It's a unique, mischief-filled experience that's so much fun, it's a crime. No, oh, oh, so many puns. <laughs> so, I mean, this confirmed that you do score points. We weren't sure. We were wondering if it's just for fun you blast things. But also, it's very much like the end of um, Minion Mayhem, where 
things are supposed to like chain reaction, blow up and explode and stuff. Yeah. I could do a better job. If they give me a baseball bat and let me off the path, but it's okay. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think this thing will have like eight scenes. Uh, I think there are probably half of them are entirely screen based, but there might be physical props and stuff mixed in. I keep using the example, the secret life of pets when like the rocket, the fireworks go off Mm -hmm. because it's like this domed screen, this curved screen, and it's got like projections on the foreground stuff. So it looks like there's action on the foreground stuff, even though they're physical shapes mixed with the projections on the back. And it makes it feel 3D instead of flat. Because this cool. is a very small space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really small. So I think they'll do they'll do as best they can to make it feel bigger with the multi-layer projection. I think for what they're doing with the space they have, it'll be pretty cool. Like, I'm not super excited for it, but I think it'll be a nice little people eater for the front of the park. And no height requirement and ADA accessible to regular wheelchairs as long as they have a, a lock on the wheel. And... Which is cool. I think with Mario Kart soft opening in Hollywood right now, I think one thing that we're learning is that sometimes the replayability with these interactive things is what matters more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like no one can predict, no one could have predicted how fun something like that could be just looking at a POV video. So I'm sure people are going to watch the POV videos from like standing in place on this moving belt and be like, <laughs> I don't get it. What's the point? <laughs> but once you have a blaster in your hand and you're causing mayhem, maybe it's fun. It's probably, yeah, I was going to say, it's got to be more fun than just standing there, like, lurking along on this moving path with a camera in your hand. It doesn't seem <laughs> right. like it's going to look very exciting. So, uh, I I think we need more things for little kids. I think little kids are going to kick out of it. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. I think, I think, I have a feeling that even though I'm not overly excited for it, you and I will definitely have fun in there, especially if it does what we're <laughs> talking about, because we're children. We had fun on the Simpsons ride today. That's how we you know. Did. It's, it's still not a great ride, but it's still we still had fun. I'm a baby bird. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that whole ride in that one line takes that whole thing. It's so funny. It's the only good thing. It's it makes so, it all good. So funny. It makes and the whole random. ride retroactively good as it, soon as it happens. It's so random. I love it so much. Oh, I forgot that it was even in there. Ugh. Uh so that's Illuminations Villain Con Minion Blast opening yeah. summer 2023. I assume Minion Cafe will also open summer 2023, but they got I a long so. ways to go on that. I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do for food in there, for the, like the finalized version when they open. I assume it would be the same as Hollywood's. Probably. And they have some but... decent, there's some meatball thing I think everyone likes there. So, Well, who doesn't like meatballs? It's just... Maybe like... I don't know. I can't remember. There was like grilled cheese or something. Ooh. Leave a comment on the YouTube version of this uh, podcast and let me know what your favorite food is at Minion Cafe. Or what you hope to see or what you're excited to try if you've seen the stuff out there. Please. I can't stop thinking about the the foods at Super Nintendo World. Yeah, Toast I'm Cafe. still thinking about that cookie. You I want talked the tiramisu. About it so much, and then I saw the cookie broken open. Now I want the cookie. We'll be back with another episode, um, probably with Nene. Nene! Sorry. To talk about the after the grand opening of Super Nintendo World in Hollywood. I know they are doing soft opens and then they're doing previews, um, but we kind of wanted to give them a little bit of time to get all the work out all the kinks. Mm, and it's an excuse to talk to Nene. Nene's funny. Yeah. If you're not a member of the Patreon and you'd like to hear more episodes of the Parks Up podcast. <laughs> Highly recommend listening to Nene talk. Nene's uh, yeah, fun. Yeah, we, we talked about Hollywood rumors and we got... Uh, we got we we talked about like the next nine years of rumors. <laughs> it was, it was uh, illuminating. You guys did. I got to listen in on the show before anybody, and then just drop bad jokes once in a while. It's great. It's great. <laughs> but back to this episode, already uh-huh. in progress. What? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> We're talking about Kid Zone. Oh, oh yeah, Kid Zone, the closed closed zone. Closed, closed. <laughs> Can we discuss how like studios is basically city walls? Like it's all walls. Wow, there was a lot of walls today. There was yeah. So so we walk up to Kid Zone and Alicia's like, hey, those look like new walls. And we walk around the rest of the park. She goes, now I know why they had new walls built. Yeah, it smelled like fresh wood. It was like Halloween Horror Nights like plywood smell. And I'm like, why do they have to make new walls? Don't they have oh no, they're all oh, in use. They're all out. <laughs> All of every, the walls are every out. single ride. We had to walk around the back of Simpsons to get in. Yeah, we did. There was for some reason that's behind walls. Yeah, Simpsons, uh, Kid Zone, uh, Central Park had did Central Park had some walls. Oh, yeah, then, they're redoing a couple of the food booths. Calzones are coming. Yeah, calzones. Mm. 
wanted to open the official Kids Zone closure announcement. This was back on November 1st, they released this, and it said January 15th would be the last day of operation. And now we're recording this. It is January 16th. It, and it was true. It happened. The walls went up. It happened. We have proof. <laughs> we were there. So what closed uh, Fievel's Playland, Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster, Curious George Goes to Town, DreamWorks Destination, and the Shrek Meet and Greet all closed. E.T. Adventure is still open. Animal Actor is still open. Kids Own Pizza Company, open whenever it is open. I've never seen it open. SpongeBob Store Pants, all open. And the restroom is very important. The restrooms are still open. <laughs> wait, wait. Can we, can we, before we get too far, can we discuss how E.T. smells like 50 different things now? Yeah, so, okay, what's going on with the smellizers, smellitizers in the E.T. ride? Seriously, does somebody work at E.T. that can, like, comment or talk? uh, There was baby powder and pine, like usual, and then what else? We got some HHN scent. It was like Flight of Passage or Fiji from Soren in the queue, and instead of pine, and it's like, this is, something is off. I was... (laughs) I do not. I don't know know why. It was like the same smell. In case you were wondering, apparently the green planet smells like baby powder. Yeah, it went from burning Rome to just Maggie's baby powder from The Simpsons. I don't like are they like are they refilling the drum with like the old drum, like so like it still has a (laughs) leftover smell in it or something? Maybe they maybe they reallocated an old drum or two. I don't know, but it's definitely weird. (laughs) When they first like turned the scent things back on, I told you like I thought the 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 party scene, the celebration scene on the green planet smelled like Halloween Horror Nights, and then after that it smelled like Flight of Passage, and now it's back to Halloween Horror Nights, but now the queue is Flight of Passage, so like I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Baby powder in instead of burning Rome. At least the first three scenes did smell like pine, like. The actual, yeah. part, the forest that's supposed to smell like pine smell like pine. I just don't understand where Flight of Passage is coming from. I don't cube. understand where baby powder is coming from. At least that's isolated just to the dying green planet. So where <laughs> Burning Rome should go. If that whole thing smelled like baby powder, I'd be nauseous the whole time. So if anybody's wondering, a dying, a dying planet smells like baby powder, according to Universal. One of the lava projections <laughs> was off and it was blue. And it I was, was like, blue. maybe it's on purpose. <laughs> it's the baby powder planet. <laughs> Uh, we did have our own very – we had a very own E.T. entire vehicle. Our ride vehicle was empty but us. It was great. So we were, yeah. being, we were being goofy on there. But anyway, I, I it really was weird. It was weird. It was a weird E.T. ride. Magdal's eye was broken. Oh, Magdal doesn't have an eye. It's like black on that side. <sighs> she has a black eye? It's not even. It's just no eye. Like anyway, needs, Kid Zone's closing. She's like a pirate cat patch or something. <laughs> Seems to be more terrifying. <laughs> Just stop. Just stop. Uh, and the, the, when they made the announcement, they said they were bringing new family entertainment um, featuring beloved animated characters to the land. To the yay. Area. Permits for demolition were filed last month. Uh, the permits for demolition include all of Fievel's Playland, which goes along with rumors. Which they like just all- repainted. <laughs> they repainted what like last march yeah, we're like, like i guess they're not going to close all of kids zone they just repainted <laughs> we're closing all of kids zone. <laughs> uh fibles plan is getting completely leveled uh and it said partial demolition for curious george which is which was curious ah. and then it said surrounding area so that literally could be everything yeah um, everything barney needs to go away I just posted an article today along with the pictures the the proof with the work walls <laughs> The, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, or FDEP, uh, <laughs> they are calling this Project 540, or at least part of it, they're calling Project 540. So I think that's the project number for the kid zone replacement. I thought it was interesting. The permit says construction period starts January 16th, 2023. And this was filed um, on the 9th, so last week. And it says it starts today, January 16th, and construction period ends March 29th, 2024. That's a long time. If it's accurate to when it starts being exactly yeah. today, I'd say there's a good chance it's accurate to when it ends. So maybe they're eyeing a summer 2024 opening at the latest for the new nice. kids Zone replacement. It'd be nice for them though. That gives them a little bit of a, uh, like a little bit of a bridge toward Epic. Right. Cause they have minion stuff this year. Yep. And then um, kids Zone stuff next year. And then mm-hmm. Epic. Nice little bridge. Since they canceled the Fear Factor replacement, this gives them something. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we also noticed a lot of the meet and greets from DreamWorks were located around the park. No, we no, saw. we didn't notice. You participated in one of them. <laughs> I we ran didn't going, just Puss, notice. Puss in Boots, I love you. Puss in Boots walks. Puss in Boots walked by me. Alicia was getting ready to film the wall. And as soon as I could get her attention, I pointed at Puss in Boots and she came running. And I just I, I was walking. first in line you for were. the day. And then we saw trolls later on at, in front of Mel's. Mm-hmm. We saw the Simpsons RV was out. There was a pretty good amount of like people out today. Someone asked uh, yesterday, Shrek and Fiona will probably still be meeting people, but Donkey's mm. taking a, a vacation for a little while. Oh, Donkey. I wonder if they're going to peel. No, they can't. They wouldn't do that. Peel back to Donkey's spot sooner than the rest. But I don't think. No, I don't do think that. so. I no, have a theory. Because- we'll get into my theory. Actually, yeah, we're going to get into my theories yeah, we're right now. Get into your theories. This is the one I wanted to do this episode before the, the Frisco, Texas and Vegas thing. This is what I wanted to talk about for this episode. But <laughs> um, rumors for what is replacing Kid Zone. I think we have some answers. Yep. What are you thinking? It's all DreamWorks. Yeah, I was going to say we had talked about DreamWorks. So. Hey, so this is Alicia from the future. Just wanted to pop in and say the day after we recorded this episode, all of the work walls around the Kid Zone area are now covered in lots and lots of DreamWorks character decals. So DreamWorks characters all over the walls. I think that's some kind of confirmation that the area will be DreamWorks. Thank you. This has been from the future now to our previously recorded podcast. Uh, I, I think when they first announcement, everyone was like, is it going to be DreamWorks or Illumination? A little bit of both or whatever. Uh, but they have all this minion stuff happening in the front of the park. So DreamWorks makes sense. And then we weren't sure. I mean, we knew, come on, it has to be Shrek and Trolls. We weren't sure on the third thing. I'm pretty sure on the third thing is going to be Kung Fu Panda. I'm okay with that. Is there any way to check? Is the is the Woody Woodpecker Nuthouse Coaster, is it a coma? Is there a way to know that? Leave a comment uh, down below and tell me if it's Vakova. Uh, yeah, so the 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 Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster is rumored to stay. Which is uh, good. And be rethemed to Trolls. Trolls. Yes. It is, I think it is a Vakoma. Okay. I Someone made a comment. Someone, I whoever you are, you deserve all the credit in the world because I believe this 100%. The name of this is going to be Troller Coaster. I I oh, want that's this funny. to be true. Someone commented on, uh, I think, on a video are that they I gonna, did. Wait, are they going to change the song to Troller Coaster of Love? Troller Coaster. <laughs> of, I can see the troll singing that. Exactly. This is what I, I'm saying. I that now has I, to happen. I was gonna say I kind of need this now. Isn't there? We talked about it before, but isn't there like a caterpillar or something that they travel in? I think like so. Caterbus. I think so. Uh, in trolls. So I wonder if it's gonna be that or just something new. The entire Fivel's play area being demolished and turned into Shrek Swamp is the the rumor for that. Mm. I think I like the idea that they're gonna completely demolish it and restart. Because we had yeah. theorized that they could keep it and just turn that into the Trolls area. But Trolls has a very def- definitive, like, very colorful look, very acid trip look. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad that they're kind of doing a full, fresh rebuild. Um, and I just, I have a feeling they'll do, like, Shrek's house for meet and greets with, like, the stump on top. That'd be cool. And then different stuff cool. for play area stuff around it. Like, that is a centerpiece. It would look really great. That would look really cool. Uh, so we have Shrek stuff in the front. Opal likes that idea too. Troller coaster in the middle. God, I, I need to song. check the, tr- the trademarks. That's got to be a trademark by now. <laughs> I have that song in my head now. I did it to myself. Troller coaster. <laughs> um, and then the back area with Curious George is supposedly Kung Fu Panda. I think that might be Project 576. I haven't. Leave a comment down below. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to stop doing that now. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that. We're still looking into it. Um, I have no information whatsoever on what's going to happen to the former Barney theor- Theater. Okay. Um, which was DreamWorks Destination, very lightly themed. But if I were in charge of this project and we were already doing the Trolls roller coaster, I would consider that whole center area Trolls and give Trolls a stage show. Um, a sing along called like Trolls Live Tour or something, mm. um, and do it as a, in the round sing along thing, and open back up that little playground area indoors, and where the Shrek meet and greet had be like was set up, 
that used to be a gift shop for Barney. So make that a Trolls slash DreamWorks gift shop. That could be the only gift shop in the area. And you know, Trolls is the only thing that sells merchandise in the area. So <laughs> make that a Trolls. Whole, that whole building is Trolls. That's what yeah, I would I, do. I, I like this idea. I think that'll it look, doesn't... I th- there's no yeah, permits yeah. for it yet because they don't have to demolish it. So I have no information, but. Yeah, I think it sounds good. I think it'd be cool. That's what I would do. But the reason I wanted to talk about this, the rumor for Kung Fu Panda, <laughs> I don't know if it's a play area like Curious George, but I do know that there are some enhanced meet and greets coming to this area. Ooh. Um, oh, that so- reminds me. There's a patent I wanted to look at. I did not prepare for this in advance. <laughs> oh, I don't do homework. You do. That's the difference on this show. I just react and... Oh, it's already open. It's it's right there. There it is. I'm looking at it. So yeah, the... I don't know if you've ever seen the Mr. Ping meet and greet in Hollywood, Universal Hollywood. I did not, but that sounds amazing. They do it for Lunar New Year, ooh, which is actually coming up, isn't it? Um, he, he has his noodle shop in the Kung Fu Panda movies, Poe's uh, dad. Yep. And... There's like, it's exactly the same as Donkey. They have like this, um, what is he, a goose? A duck? I don't know. I can't He's some kind of bird. And they do like the puppet thing where the, someone does the voice and they have a thing, whatever. This one though, mm-hmm. this new meet and greet uh, or enhanced character uh, interactive experience is going to be animated like um, Turtle, Turtle Talk. Talk with Crush. Yes. And Universal actually has their own version of like the puppeteering behind the scenes animated live character, which they're calling digital character interacting with customer in physical realm. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> since you put it that way, this sounds super I'm just, fun. I'm just looking at the picture of like someone with a little camera on their face like, gonna... moving their mouth and it recording and they have little sticks in their hands uh, to do the puppeteering. So. I'm going to go with Goose. He's got a long neck, right? Yeah, we're going to go with Goose. Sorry, I'm still thinking about that. So I thought that was really interesting that like <sighs> it's not just a one-for-one replacement of play areas and a retheme of the coaster. They're at least doing something different for the back of the area with the Kung Fu Panda Land. That's cool. And just because I like heard about the Mr. Ping doesn't mean there's not more animated characters or that this is only a small part of a larger thing or... They're just going to stop right there at the meet and greets for Kung Fu Panda and leave the rest empty behind it and Mm -hmm. leave room for a phase two for a ride or something later. We don't want phase two. This kid zone has needed love for so long. Just do it. Do it. I I, I would honestly, well, (laughs) considering how popular the DreamWorks character meet and greets are when they do set like that line for trolls was long. You saw that line. Uh So I think putting more emphasis on the meet and greets and giving them a real purpose built like area to do meet and greets in is already better than having five or anything. (laughs) So already (laughs) they're winning with the meet and greets and then doing something like this, like interactive technology animated meet and greet thing. That's pretty cool. So I like the idea of incorporating the costume characters they already have incorporating the one ride they already have, and then making a new modern play area uh, for Shrek, which is about to be, you know, rebirthed, reborn, and re rebooted in a new film series. <laughs> Yay, lucky us. Yeah, I don't know if any of y'all have seen Puss in Boots, uh, The Last Wish, but you should. Because it's gonna, it's it's kicking off the new shrek <laughs> The shrek <laughs> I haven't said that yet, but I, <laughs> it, seemed, it seemed right in my head. This is oh, the renaissance man. of Shrek. It's the, the Shrekassons. Oh, Welcome boy. to the dawning of a new era. Samba. This, okay, so I should have put that in the... the, in the oh, sorry. I should have put a button for the Samba. Okay. Oh, boy. The Shrekassons. I think that was it for Kid Zone. I think Got it's it. enough. I mean, this, Shrek that sounds pretty good. Shrek in the front good. and Kung Fu Panda in the back and Trolls in the middle. <laughs> it sounds starting to sound like a mullet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Shrek is like the business version of it and <laughs> Trolls is the fun. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, my, my hastily written notes, I love how it says, speaking of DreamWorks. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's talk about the, the sudden surprising out of nowhere, um, announcement. We talk about how it was done the day after there was a specific other company that made some announcements. 
What did Disney actually announce, though? Like, they announced uh, little things that we've been begging them to revert back. Mm, Is there yeah, anything free, big that they did? I think for tourists, the free parking at the resorts, again, if you're staying there, is probably a pretty big deal. Yeah. Not Pass as far holders as attractions. We'll be able to go after 2 p.m. to Except Walt Disney World King. Parks. Except, Except for, for Magic Kingdom <laughs> on the weekends. On the weekends, <laughs> you can go still during the weekdays after mm-hmm. 2 to the Magic Kingdom. Not going to lie, it's the one I'm interested in the least, probably. Not going to lie, they need to let you buy a real annual pass. <laughs> <laughs> One day. I think if if I can if I can renew, I think I can upgrade at that point. <laughs> Maybe. We'll um, see. I, I, was, I was happy to see, I think the next day they announced uh, Tiana's restaurant in Disneyland's coming. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous of that, to be honest. No, I'm very jealous. Well, I mean, they have a New Orleans land, so I, I'll give it. It's not like we have two entire hotels based on New Orleans or anything at Walt Disney no. World. That they could build one in. No, <laughs> never. We would never do that. But yeah, that was that was a good announcement. What's behind Big Thunder Mountain? I don't know. Tiana's Palace, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's behind Big Thunder Mountain? Tiana's restaurant, please. Please. How about that? Can we have that? <laughs> New Orleans Square? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, oh, Tron was man. announced though that 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 I immediately made a park reservation for that. So I will believe it when I see it. Hey, that's how I felt about Kids Zone closing. And there's walls. You know what? They've they've had walls up in 2017. I don't I should uh, get too excited. Uh huh. So Universal announced mm-hmm. they are building a kid friendly park in Frisco, Texas. Um, they recently purchased 97 acres of land there. Hmm. And uh, they announced plans for a 300-room hotel and a small uh, kid-friendly theme park with, like, play areas, rides, uh, and other entertainment. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think about these two announcements? Uh, I'm worried the the Halloween Horror Nights uh, year-round haunt thing. It's like the there was a, there was a joke on BoJack Horseman that, like, why does no one make a year-round Halloween store? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I worry about year round haunts. I really do. But I think if anywhere it's going to succeed, it's next to something like Meow Wolf. So maybe. Yeah. The small theme park, though, I think it'd really work because the way I look at it is like Legoland or even more accurately Sesame Place, where uh, especially locals, like they buy an annual pass and they might go for a half day. So instead of like going to the park or like Mm. a normal playground, you take the kids to this place um you know maybe even pack a lunch uh if they let you see world parks let me pack a lunch no so they they <laughs> <laughs> they you go in and you do some rides or whatever you meet some characters and then you leave and it's essentially like a really fancy playground and you could get an annual pass for like 10 13 dollars a month at legoland or whatever so it's it fills a niche for something for families and parents to do that's different uh, but not nearly as expensive as something like Disneyland or, you know, Walt Disney World. Yeah. Filling in that little market. I don't think you're going to see much or any overlap between the offerings here and the offerings at Universal Parks that already exist. Because that's not what this is. This is for little kids because that's not their normal market. It's like a venturing into a new market. Yeah, I th- I think it works as a little bit of an ad. Like we were talking earlier, I think it works as a little bit of an advertisement for them too, especially if they theme it up right. Even if it's not for like teens and adults, really, but if it's themed really well, then it's like, look what we can do. Just come hang out in Orlando and see the better stuff. I I wonder if they'll even. I mean, yeah. Once you grow out of this park, then you grow up to the real one. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like this is a this is for the the younger crowd before you're ready for because the, the young kids can't go on the harry potter rides they're literally yeah, not tall enough this is for everyone's that's under the height requirement for forbidden journey <laughs> it's all yeah but it's also a bit of a nostalgia factor you know what i mean like little kids are going to relate to universal theme parks as a, as really young kids i don't know if they're even going to put the word universal on this branding though because all right so they could turn into us and be like where was that that's a universal park oh i really need to go to Orlando now well, I think people in the know will know, or the or they're just going to go all in on it and say like, well, you know what? They sneak a little Universal's above Epic Universe and Islands of Adventure, so I'm sure they'll stick a little Universal above. Oh, I'm sure. Dream. We'll go with DreamWorks Fun Works. We're going to bring okay. that back. DreamWorks sure. Fun Land. DreamWorks Dream World. Oh, um, Dream, I don't know. Here's the official description uh, that they when they announced this. 
The new park concept, set in a lush green landscape and featuring immersive themed lands, celebrates Universal's iconic brand of entertainment, humor, and innovation, and brings to life its beloved characters and stories in ways that will wow even the youngest theme park goers. See? Sounds like sounds, that sounds like a nostalgia factory. Well, it definitely if you watch the like announcement in Frisco, it definitely feels like they used like they went to city council meetings and stuff and they really sold the city on the idea of it being a universal theme park. Yeah, yeah. Like they sure. used clips, uh like there's a clip of Toronto on Flyers and Minions and uh Nintendo. There's all these clips playing. And even the, I think it was the mayor of Frisco said something about like with properties like Minions and um, DreamWorks and named a couple other things. Mm. And I think like the locals think that they're going to get all that. But that's, those are just examples of how Universal does kid stuff. Like that was, that were just trying to illustrate like, here's how we can do things for kids. And then they give this concept art and it's like, but none of that stuff's in it. (laughs) (laughs) Like, just kidding, we're going to do this. Uh, There is an earlier... Ooh, I wanted to open it. There is an earlier piece of concept art that they submitted to the city for zoning approvals. Mm -hmm. It does not match the newer concept art, like, at all. And it shows the entire 97-acre lot that they bought. Oh, I have the shell company. Someone said it was FTNV Corp. was the shell company that they used to buy the land last month. This is what the whole property build-out will look like at first. As you can see, it's mostly parking lot. (laughs) (laughs) You can see the hotel there in the beginning, in the front. I'm Mm -hmm. sorry, zoom in on that hotel pool. Can you zoom in on that pool for me? Texas? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That pool is shaped like Texas. Um, This might be a video version where I put some visuals in the podcast, by the way, if you're watching. So what you're saying is there's a Texas Texas size pool. Everything is bigger in Texas. Yeah, exactly. Um, Except for this park is little. Yeah, so the park itself is only 25 acres to start, but it has enough room for 33 acres. You can see that expansion there on the right. Mm -hmm. That's for expansion to the park. But then you see another expansion on the left. Mm -hmm. My assumption is that would be for a water park add-on. I know Legoland Mm -hmm. tends to do that where it's not even like it's a whole water park. It's just an add-on to your day ticket for your normal park. So you can get access to the water park. So, and I think that's it. I think some people were theorizing. I think Tommy was saying like, maybe they bought the land next to it, but no, the land next to it is for like condos that someone else bought. Yeah. Um, but I mean, using they, a different shell company, <laughs> <laughs> they could always reclaim some of it as parking garages like they did here. If they really, but really, 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 if wanted they really, to. really, really wanted yeah, to, but I don't really see it ever it. expanding outside of this 97 acre plot. They don't want to cross the street because that's no. not the point. The point of this is to be profitable by being small yeah, and yeah. nimble. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. don't want to go too big or make it like a universal Orlando. They want to keep it small and quaint. Yeah, I think it, I think it's going to be fine. Supposedly, the official concept art that was released on the day of this announcement publicly is mm-hmm. newer than the one that was used for city approvals. And this newer concept art may be more accurate to the actual theme park. So, like, if you look at the theme park shape in the city approval thing the shape is right but the interior what is in it is just kind of gobbledygook made up it's not real (laughs) yeah you know what if you look on the top left of that there is what looks like water slides oh in the the real one yeah yeah well everyone keeps saying it's like a kiddie coaster and i'm like okay it's in clouds in infinity land it's clearly expansion we don't know what to draw yet yeah (laughs) I think it's, it's supposed to be water slides, but you notice they go on forever, like yeah. they're impossible water slides. But if you zoom in, you can see like little coasters too. Like they like they started out as slides, but then they drew a little roller coaster train on top. Also, <laughs> they're like we don't know, and that's the point. It's expansion. It doesn't really exist. But then yeah. if you look dead center at the back, that's where the real theme park expansion is. They can build a whole another another themed land there. Maybe two. Look, this um, looks pretty cool for what it is. I'm not going to lie. It looks really nice and fun. And I would just like to live on this boat ride. Was it? Uh, yeah, I really like the boat ride. Was it Ryan who said uh, said it first, or at least I saw first, this is clearly the DreamWorks logo at the entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just took away the little boy from the clouds, but there's yeah. clouds still. And there's a moon still. Yeah, sort of. so sort of. They kind of smeared it with a uh, Photoshop. I think the entire thing is DreamWorks. But when I posted that, people are already saying, 
but that doesn't make sense because there's a Jurassic World arch in the corner. It's clearly Jurassic Park. And I'm like, I had to post a picture of uh, Camp Cretaceous and like circle the giant DreamWorks logo on it. (laughs) No one ever thinks of it, but DreamWorks has TV shows and one of them is Camp Cretaceous. Wait, you mean the uh, the studio that Spielberg used to own might have something to do with a cartoon based on Spielberg property? Weird. It's funny because like that that cartoon has an Amblin logo, a Universal logo, and a DreamWorks logo, and it's like <laughs> two out of three of those are Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Who? Ne- I never would have seen that coming. It's funny because if you zoom all the way in on that Jurassic World, Jurassic Park arch, like mm-hmm. they took away the sign. There's even a little glitch where they like photoshopped it out, you, but they you like repeated the concrete behind it, and it's like <laughs> you you can't remove the sign and us not figure it out. We know what that arch is. <laughs> yeah, you know what's intriguing to me is if you look where the boats are in the direction, it looks like a second level of water, like a yeah. ring. I'm but like, curious about that. Now. Well, it it dead ends though. I know it doesn't I just come can't... back. So anyway, there's a boat right in the center of the park that yeah. goes around and then back. Uh-huh. Which everyone's like, wow, that boat ride's going to be so long. It's going to mm, take forever. And I no. say, no, this park is really tiny. It's actually a normal size boat ride. The park is small. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can just stand on the dock, though, and just hand me a drink every time I come back to the dock. And I'll just keep going around because it looks really fun and relaxing. Um, So Please. pretty quickly, the internet figured out we got trolls in the bottom right. We got Shrek on the top right, Camp Cretaceous on the top left, despite everyone thinking it's Jurassic World. Bottom left, Madagascar. It's actually the zoo from Madagascar with a penguin uh, splash pad. And it's like it's exactly the Central Park Zoo from Madagascar. It even has the same cages. And um, wait, wait, wait. Is that a theater in Shrek land? Yes. Hold Mm -hmm. on. Hold on. Go back to Madagascar and zoom all the way into that splash pad. Okay. Yeah. You see the to the right of the splash pad and then circling down below one, two, yeah. three, four, five. Those are cabanas. What in the world? They have cabana rentals in the theme park. Hey, whatever. Maybe if they're they... not rentals. Maybe they're just like seating hey, areas. If I can sit in there, if I was a parent and I could sit in there while a kid went and played in the splash pad and I can just order food and drinks. I'm not mm-hmm. mad at that. I'm not mad mm-hmm. at that at all, especially in Texas where it's hot. Not mad. Yeah. Bring it. I think the trolls areas looks really colorful. I hope that's anything like we got we get in our okay. Yes, it looks like a theater. Everyone keeps saying, "Look at this! It could be a dark ride. Look at this! It could be a dark ride." I don't think there's a single dark ride on this app and this map. I don't think anything here is a dark ride. Are you saying what I'm thinking? You're saying that we talked about earlier. I, I'm just saying, if Shrek 4D was going to come back to life, this would be a good place to to put saying, it. Are you saying Shrek 4D lives? Maybe. <laughs> That doesn't seem like, considering how small this park is, it doesn't seem like it would be a very large ride if it was a dark ride. Because right, that's it looks not a to me building. like pre-show two, area, two main theaters. show, gift shop. I was thinking two theaters, but possibly. No, I think it's just one. Again, everything is smaller than you think. If you look at the scale of people, yeah. these are actually pretty small. Everything's. Yeah, I'm just looking at like where it could have been divided just to get like two theaters, so they could be alternating to speed it up, but. Yeah, you're probably no, right. It's I don't probably think one they theater. need that capacity for such probably a small not. park. Probably not. Look on the right top of Shrek. <laughs> yeah. There's a, I think that is a quick service restaurant with outdoor seating and indoor seating. Oh, with the purple cover umbrella yes. things. Mm. So I think that's a restaurant or a dining location. Now look in between the two. Yeah. Do you see the guillotine or am I, I completely d- losing it? Do you see a guillotine? Why what is, is there going a guillotine on? there? <laughs> What is going on? That is <laughs> that is clearly a guillotine. Clearly. It's a guillotine marquee on a turret. What is going on? Is that like a photo op? Is that like some kind of deranged gigantic photo op? I don't know, but it doesn't seem like it's on ground level. Oh, it's you just raised saying? up like it on a platform. Up. Maybe. It's huge also. It's the, it's like mm. 25 feet tall. I can't see Why is I it there? <laughs> I'm zooming in even more now to investigate. Oh, there are cabanas el- elsewhere. There's 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 covered like ten things around the the hedge maze on the right. Do you see the drunkies, the flying drunkies? Yeah, I do see the flying drunkies with, that's with pretty, dragon mommy in the middle. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Um, What's on the what far right with a curved kind of ending castle facade, fantasy land kind of thing? So I, know, I just see about? more covered seating. It really looks like Pinocchio Village House to me. Yeah, I wonder from if, Magic Kingdom. If that's another store. 
the path to nowhere back there. <laughs> it's creepy. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I like Enter the boat ride that goes around every land. I think that's a cute idea. I want, it's like the Disney train ride. I want to do that. I just want to sit on the boat. As many po- people have pointed out, there appears to be like 12 Zamperla rides here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to Zamperla's family ride section and see what they got. It looks they got like the nebulas we rode. Remember the nebulas? I don't oh, know. Yeah, I don't was, see that here in the art. That was fun. That was a little more they thrilling than this, you would like, expect. They have uh, a few I recognize in Trolls. I'm trying to figure out what this thing is because it looks like there's a track that's kind of a figure eight, but they also look like teacups or those flying saucers or something. Oh, it looks, it looks like that? a whip ride to me. Maybe. Yeah, I was thinking the other one was uh Mater's kind of style, like a Yeah, it looks like some kind of like that, like a Mater's. Yeah, that's a whip yeah, yeah. ride. Um anyway, there's like a little stage for um trolls. Is that a um, store or another restaurant? Which one? The circular front building or No, show. I think that's a state. I think it's an outdoor stage. Gotcha. That's like that's a, a catwalk on the catwalk. Yeah. Oh boy. Do my little turn. Oh, oh boy. The bottom that one is, looks like another restaurant. It's the same shape as the top restaurant. You see that yeah, bottom one? Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. there's something on the right, and that, I don't know what that is. Giant Trolls gift shop. Some <laughs> people thought maybe this this middle thing behind the boat ride could be something, but that's probably the cue for the boat ride. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's other smaller buildings. There's some pretty big ones over in Jurassic. One of them's probably a restaurant, but one's probably big enough for something. But I, all I keep thinking about is in um, Sesame Street, in SeaWorld Orlando and the biggest only building with interiors there is just meet and greets. It's a huge queue for meet and greets and you meet multiple um, Muppets or whatever Sesame yeah. Street residents. And I think that we have to keep in mind that some of these structures are probably just for elaborate meet and greets because you need the queue space somewhere. And uh, although there's a flying uh, Tyranodon uh, spinner ride over in Camp Cretaceous, too, and a big Camp Cretaceous play area that looks like the the treehouse from the show. There's some kind of tower in there, too, huh? Oh, my God. There's more cabanas. Yeah, I was going to say there's more cabanas in there. (laughs) Every land has a row of cabanas. There's a really big building in Jurassic, though, huh? Cretaceous. I mean, there's like the there's almost like a lab in the back left. Yeah, but then then there's the long strip one. Yeah. Yeah. And it fades away <laughs> <laughs> into the great wide open. Uh, yeah. So who knows that that I, maybe that's instead of meet and greets, maybe that's like raptor encounter in one half and then uh, something else in the other half because it is divided. You see that little L shape there in the front yeah, and then a wait, bigger one on the left. Is that another water ride? What is that? You see the space between Jur- Jurassic and Madagascar? There's like an orange and yellow thing and it looks like people sitting on a round thing. No, no. I see families walking together. Okay. I was going to say, is that a path then? Yeah. It changes color from one land to I another. See it. It's a I side path. Orange. Yeah. I see the orange. Yeah. And then it goes in. There's a little drop ride there. There's a little parachute ride. Yeah. I over see Over in that. Camp Cretaceous. Yeah. That's the tower I was looking at. Yeah. What are the gold things in Trolls? Are those more cabanas? I, maybe. Style? With a maybe. maze for the kitties in the middle? Do, they have like swirly things around them. I think they're cabanas. Less stressful or less stressful maze for the youngsters, the younger youngsters. And then the real ones over in the top right. Yeah. For Shrek. I don't know. Anytime I see a hedge maze in concept art, I assume it'll be replaced with something more interesting later. Because <laughs> there's no reason <laughs> to ever build a hedge maze in this day and age. Just put this right there. That's fun. It's like Beastly Kingdom. Everyone's like, oh my God, I really wish we got Beastly Kingdom. It would have been so great. I was like, yay, hedge maze. Sure. So wait, there's a my catapult. Favorite. There's a catapult and a target on an island. We can go on the island, right? Because it looks like there's a yes. covered queue. Yeah, there is There is something on that island. What it looks like to me is Shrek, Shrek Swamp and Forest on the left and Far, Far it's Away just, on the right. And yeah. there's, a, there's a forest in the middle to get between the two. It's just either that... Either that's some kind of bridge, or but it looks like a building because of the way the trees block it. That was my and these are fake treetops, by the way, oh, in yeah, between I, real trees. So maybe that's a play area. Maybe. It's got to be then. If it, when in doubt, it's a meet and greet or a play area. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to <laughs> be. It's absolutely definitely not a dark ride. That's, that's got to be. I see no dark rides. Maybe something in Jurassic over in the corner. And, and I don't think, I still don't think it's a dark ride. It's too short of a building. That's probably just an entry facade thing to get into it then. That would be my guess. I like the hotel. If this is the hotel in the front of the park, it looks about right for 300 rooms. I'd say no. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Or maybe it's part of a hotel and they have two separate wings because then the other art shows something else below it. 
down in front where the Texas pool is. <laughs> <laughs> and they like maybe they have special rooms that are right connected to the park and then they have other rooms that are See this the, the the old site plan has a roller coaster off to the right. I wonder if there's a roller coaster planned but not to start when this thing opens. I mean, it's pretty pretty different layout. Yeah. But it's, it's pretty- possible that they have some roller coaster ideas like the path to nowhere in Shrek or something. Yeah. And they just haven't, they're not going to open with it. So yeah, I wonder if the hotel split into multiple sections and the, the there's ones with the views of the park and then there's other like garden view rooms that are over <laughs> by the pool. Here's a parking lot for you to look at. Uh, they call that garden view. I Don't know. Don't you know the terminology? Or partial garden view. What if... What if there's a roller coaster built where that and Shrek where that labyrinth is instead? And the labyrinth is, like you said, just holding a spot. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's where I think there could be a roller coaster. Okay, I got you. I thought you were talking about back behind the buildings even farther a little bit. I don't know, maybe that's the exit from the roller coaster. Although there is cabanas there. <laughs> <laughs> there's cabanas. So. There. They should just call this DreamWorks Cabana Park. Oh, that's brilliant. I will yeah. pay the extra one hundred and eighty dollars for a cabana, so that yeah. I'll have honestly to... in Texas heat with a kid. I will have a cabana. There's a building toward the front in front of Madagascar that might be for meet and greets too. That um, someone mentioned. I, I asked about shows that we don't think about that are for like kids from DreamWorks, mm-hmm. and Gabby's Dollhouse came up a lot. Yeah. So there may be many like trade out like like um, rotating meet and greets near the front of the park. Where they have yeah, new, whatever's new non- and hot. That you mean that building with that one rounded corner thing, right? The like one with turret? the 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 I think we're talking iridescent about the tree. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a pretty contemporary style building, so it could be easily swapped right. out of stuff. And you walk through the arch next to the right of that building, and then you'll get into Madagascar. But this might have a <laughs> this has a pathway out in front of it, or or it's just the restaurant attached to the hotel. Actually, uh, maybe I'm looking into it too much. I was gonna say maybe it's a hotel and and a restaurant. I mean, the hotel restaurant and maybe uh, yeah. uh, shopping. Like on your way out. Yeah, that's just the gift shop. Right. Yeah, you're right. It looks pretty tall. It could be two stories. So it looks like a ballroom on the right side of the hotel, too. Yeah, it does. <sighs> anyway, this little guy, this is a cute little theme park. It's a cute little theme park. I'm happy for them. I hope it works out for Universal, to be honest. It yeah. looks pretty well themed, too. Good for her. So it's that, it's that meme. Good for her. <laughs> yeah, I kind of hope this works. Uh, I. Like I said, I kind of see it as a little way of starting nostalgia with kids, especially if the kids figure out where DreamWorks is and Universal and all that. And then a little advertisement for what the, it might spur the parents on to actually come think, to Orlando or Hollywood. I think they need to rethink the whole thing and make the whole top right puss in boots. Oh, jeez. <laughs> should have guessed that was coming. I should have guessed. Should have guessed. Here, here's a, here, I'll send you another picture. Is it puss um, in boots? No, no, it's not Puss in Boots related. <laughs> it's a, I don't think I sent you this one. This is a wider view of the the area when it's fully developed because this area is undeveloped currently. Yeah. Um, you can see to the right is the, um, what do they call it? East Village. The East Village. Uh, I don't think that's built yet, but that's like either Wait. condos or uh, apartments or something. Why is it the East Village, but then Fields West? What is going on down there? Can you guys get your naming together? <laughs> Uh, and then so, point like list. I don't, even, I don't even think this one roll is this one road is built yet around the the right side of the park. Anyway, it's, a, it's gonna cool. be a nice little like uh Lego land. I wouldn't be mad if I lived in like East Village over there and could just hop on the bridge and go hang out, walk just, around, uh, even if I don't go on the rides. I mean, Legoland actually has over time added more dark rides, and they're getting better. But so, like Legoland 1.0, let's go with because I don't <laughs> foresee dark rides. You want to have a bet? No, you don't want to bet me on no, that. No, <laughs> I don't want to bet you on that one. Nope, not touching that one. <laughs> um, we didn't really talk about the Halloween Horror Nights thing, but the official art for the for the the year round haunt has Chance and uh, Jack the Clown in it. Yeah, that makes sense, though. I mean, to start, I. So my issue with that is I hope I hope that's got like a regular schedule for being refreshed. You know what I mean? I think it will. Because did I write down the official description? 
I think mm, it will because it's yeah, like did, I think. this brand new permanent entertainment experience in Las Vegas will bring to life Universal's it, vast voice. library of classic horror films and today's most terrifying tales. With a variety of unique, immersive, fantastic, horror-centric experiences that surround the high-energy food and beverages faces by day, <laughs> turned haunting bars and eateries by night, this sentence keeps going forever. The new concept <laughs> marks the first time Universal has created a permanent horror experience beyond its theme parks uh yeah i think they changed them out yeah and, I, I hope so I, uh, I i hope it's regularly swapped because there's I, it a could lot get, of room in this it, thing it could get stale quick though oh, i didn't I write know. it down it's a 20 acre expansion to area 15 which is just a big parking lot right now off to the side yeah uh i think of that it's like 110 thousand square feet jeez i think that's what it was i will say this too if they're going to build in that same spot where like meow wolf is and stuff that's some pretty steep competition for like something to look awesome well if you, the concept art is just a giant warehouse and the yeah, word yeah, yeah. universal is there but like there's a little like the, the under part is is blocked out i wonder if it's gonna like be named universal something 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 probably 20 words no, like Universal's House of Horrors, but instead of House, it's Universal's Warehouse of Horrors. <laughs> Tree House of Horrors. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Warehouse of Horrors. I, I wonder if oh, that's a that's a pretty big space. I wonder if they could do two houses at a time in there. I, it might be enough for three, you but think? they will definitely have merch and food and beverage and a bar. So that's maybe two was, and the rest of that. That's what I was thinking. There's going to be like some place for them to fleece you some some more money while you're there. It's huge. As long as it keeps rotating, it, it, it'll be fine, I think. The building this big, it's going to have its own weather inside. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I've, been into, I've been to an Amazon warehouse. That they're, they're scary big. So is that it for that? I think that's it. That's a, yeah, uh, I I, I, I'd like to look. We don't have concept art so for me to pick apart and figure out what rides are what. So yeah, <laughs> there's no fun. it's just a big red warehouse. And there's um, what look like Jack the Clown and Chance and that... Uh, be pretty cool to see the plans, though. If we saw the floor plans, you could probably guess better what they're going to do. Yeah. I wouldn't be mad. That'd be fun. I hope that works out, too, because Halloween Horror Nights is amazing. Well, I, I I put a little video out on the second channel. If you're not subscribed yet, that is a Park Stop Presents. Park Stop Presents the second that channel. Our, that is our miscellaneous channel. Miscellaneous channel. I didn't. I didn't. I don't have any inside info for this, so I just uh, posted a quick announcement video on that channel. Uh, once we have more details or permits or something, I'll do a big expose on the main channel. <laughs> but when I, I named it like family friendly park in Texas and HHN year round haunt in Vegas. And someone commented and like false, you're giving away <laughs> false information. This isn't HHN. And I'm like, no, I didn't say that. I said it was a year round haunt, like HHN style. Like, it, and, and then I noticed the official announcement came from the official Halloween Horror Nights social media accounts. Like, I, I'm allowed to call it Halloween Horror Nights if they're allowed to call it Halloween Horror yeah, Nights. Yeah, well, it is kind of their brand, so they should just keep running with it and push it. And in my opinion, I still want my TV show with Boris as the central character. It's, so, it's kind of like, yeah, good way to string it. It's like the X-Files. I, 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 so much better. If the park, if the little mini park is a DreamWorks park, but they might slap the word Universals on it, this could be... Um, a year-round Halloween. What do they call it? A year-round horror-focused destination. There you uh, go. And they can slap the HHN name on it if they want. Yeah, I know it's not the 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 you know Halloween event. However, it's a brand and it's going to sell it. I was going to say, and the people are going to know instantly what it is by adding HHN to it. So. Yeah. Like from the insane minds of Halloween Horror Nights comes a new experience in Las Vegas. Prepare like, uh, to lose your uh, what? Huh? Universal <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights presents. The yes, scare, exactly. The, the scare house. And then you go like all that? in on you it. Like that? I thought yes. it was pretty clever on the top of my head. Yeah, okay, it was I'm, gonna, good. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. It was better than my commercial that just about to curse and, and bleep at you. <laughs> they should curse and bleep. It's HHN. You should watch Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. It has two bad words bleeped in it in no. a kids movie. No. Yes. <laughs> I am gonna it, watch it when I can see it for free. So. Can oh, okay. I see it for free yet? I don't know. I, someone said it was on streaming already. That's Ooh. madness. Uh -huh. uh, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to seeing how all this unfolds. Yeah, it's gonna. Uh, be we cool. didn't talk about it. They said that these were the first of many. Yeah. Well, or actually, not many. They said multiple. They need to dip their toe in the water and see how it goes first. 
like this mini park. And that that's how I heard about it last year is that they were planning parks and experiences around the country. Although some believe maybe around the world, there was a trademark for Illumination Studios in Paris, I think. Interesting. Oh, Attractions Magazine said it's going to take about four years to build the Texas thing. It's a good or way it will to be their, done within four years. It's I a good way say. to get their foot into different markets, too, just to be like, yay. Of course, there's tons of rumors about Port Aventura. If I hear being, one more rumor about that, I, it's it's like daily, maybe even hourly, I see somebody talking about it. Well, there was a trademark filed for Hollywood yeah. Land Universal Studios. So I mm-hmm. wonder if they'll rename it if they did. Possibly. Uh, re- rebuy it. <laughs> re- reacquire. Is the, reacquire. Right? That's is the that word. Is that the fancy word? That's the fancy word. Reacquire. Yeah, yay. I wanted to get my Epic Universe video series done so that if any breaking news like that happens, I can put another because I didn't want to interrupt my series with uh, news videos. But that Donkey Kong coaster in Universal Hollywood might get news. I'll I'll have to interrupt myself right now with future me if any of this has happened since... We recorded this on the 60th. No? Okay, good. Um, Thanks, future Alicia, for chiming in and with that information. Or not chiming in or and just not. editing quietly, whichever happens first. Hmm. But that's a, we had a lot of stuff to, to chew on. We do. And it's lots of stuff. <laughs> well, we got stuff to look forward to. Like I said, if I could, I'd be stoked to see those plans for that warehouse. It'd be pretty cool. Anyway. Little, little tail's banging away. She's so excited. Kid Zone, DreamWorks. Texas, DreamWorks. It's going to be awesome. We're probably going to do parade um, either this year or next year at Universal Studios Florida with a lot of DreamWorks. Cool. I'll be going on rides while people watch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like the Simpsons ride? Oh, you know what? Compared to Fast and Furious, that ride is amazing. <laughs> I'm not changing that, baby. <laughs> I don't want to end on that. 